A French driver, an Italian car and a British power track. What could go wrong? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back everybody to The Racing Line and in this episode we resume the Frenchman vs Stig series in which I attempt to beat the Stig's lap time in a car around the Tokyo track and today uh, we're going Italian, we've done Japanese, we've got American so uh, I thought today would be a good opportunity to give our Italian friends some love. So we're going to be driving a uh, Lamborghini Mocellago LV around the Tokyo track and uh, attempt to beat the sticks time so um, let's start by having a look at the car and uh, take it from there and here we are it's a 2010 Lamborghini Mocellago SV SV in this case stands for super veloce which means really really fast it has a 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 producing 651 horsepower it's a mid-engine all-wheel drive monster and it is absolutely beautiful fun fact i do live in the netherlands and i found out the other day that the dutch pronounce lamborghini lamborghini proving once again that not only can't they cook they also can't pronounce foreign words properly anywho i don't know where you stand on the issue of child labor i am generally not in favor of the practice but you have to admit that uh, hiring 12 year old boys to design your supercars does pay off of course italian cars have the reputation of being just like italian women in the way that if you go on a long trip with one you will arrive at your destination broke with a headache but a big smile on your face Anyway, it is time to head to the track. And once again, I will pass the mic on to my good friend Jeremy to comment on the lap. And I will see you on the other side. <laughs> and he's off. Another similarity, of course, is very thin hair. Right, coming up to the first corner. And he's coming in very hot. I had a go in, uh, in this Lambo earlier. Found a surprising amount of understeer. Stig seems to have it all under control at the moment, though. Well, good, no music again this week because, as Richard said, the uh, lightweight SV has no stereo. But why would you want one with that V12 concerto behind you? Hammerhead, uh, this is where understeer should rear its head. Look at that Stig neutralising it with 661 horses of fury. Brilliant driving. Third thing, obviously, is a love of caravan holidays in the Gordoin. Uh, OK, there he is through the follow-through. Stig says this car can be fighty, so that's probably one of... Yes, he's lifted off through the tyres. That is incredible. OK, just two corners left. You can see Stiggy's little, possibly German paws working hard there. Spit off flame on the overrun. This car really is Widow Twenky. Widow win! All right, and the results are in. So as it stands, this is the third episode, and one went to the stick in the Nissan GTR, one went to me in the Ford GT. So this is right now the tiebreaker. So I'm just gonna have a look at the results. So as it turns out, the stick did it in one minute, 19 dead. It's pretty good, but I did it Okay, that's strange. I did it in one minute 16.4, which is a whole two and a half seconds faster than the stick. Proving once again that I'm a world-class racing driver. So um, that's two out of three for me. We'll uh, figure out next week if the stick can catch up and, uh, and uh, tie the game to 2-2. Two -two. But uh, in the meantime, that's all I've got for today. So please guys do all the YouTube things like subscribe, click the bell thingy, leave a comment. That does help the channel tremendously. And um, I will see you next week for a new episode of The Racing Line, Frenchman vs. Stig. And in the meantime, just have a good time and just keep driving. See ya.